So we're here with Mary Ping, who's one of my favorite designers. And she has let us come into her studio and look at some of what she's working on. What do we have here? Will you talk about some of the fabulous things <laughs> hanging on this rack? This is just a, a dress that we did. Um, it's a cutout. It's actually um, based off of like a, an enlarged like t-shirt shape. And then we just sort of removed the space and created That's negative really cool. space. But then it was sort of like adding it another like positive space by like outlining it mm -hmm. in the show it was like the model could get away with nothing underneath but Apart. the other thing that I, I think is fun to that I would suggest is wearing like a, a colored bandeau under it. it seems like a lot of the clothes you design are sort of very like easy breezy loose but also very sexy yeah and I think in a subtle way it's nothing like over it's, it's a little more intellectualized it's a little more um, artistic what are you kind of striving for in your creations? Like, what sort of look? I try to create something that's timely, but also timeless. Then we have another piece. I don't know, we did a lot of, like, nice dresses. But sort of still inspired by the t-shirt. Mm-hmm. Just, like, really Just cool. comfortable. I think, like... Is this silk? Yeah, it's all silk. Um, and what I'm also happy with is that when people wear it they're just they just feel comfortable yeah and you don't have to suck in if you go out to dinner yeah. <laughs> you're just comfortable <laughs> this was part of your fall 2007 collection mm -hmm. that you showed in Paris yes so how was Paris Paris is you know the center of it all so um, and they sort of still no rule the roost and it's evident when you go there. And we did it for practical reasons just to give more time to develop the collection um, but it was also something about the feel of the collection was just more appropriate in you know a setting in Paris. My design heroes were like all Parisian like designers like old Balenciaga, original Balenciaga and also right now new Balenciaga by Nicolas Mosquier. I love that you don't limit yourself. I love that you did two collections in New York and then you have a vision and so you do it in Paris mm -hmm. and now your next vision you feel like will work in New York so you're yeah. going to do it in New York. I think that that's great. This one, it was sort of like a piece everyone got really excited about um, and it's just a really wow. simple cape but all the, the um, technique is just we slashed the fabric, you know. That is very cool. It's actually wool cashmere. And there's a hood. It's a hood. It's a <gasps> hooded fabulous. cape. That's oh also slashed. Very cool. So it's kind of kind like of badass chic. Yeah. <laughs> slashed wool cashmere. How cool. But it's like done in a kind of regulated way, so it becomes almost like a pattern. All of a sudden it's punk. sort of polished like, and sophisticated. Yeah, it's like polished punk, I guess. Polished it? punk. <laughs> Mary Pang. Polished punk. Love it. I love the mixing and matching. Um, I like blurring the line also. I think my, a big influence was my grandmother on my mom's side. She was, you know, she, she was a very, like, well-respected woman back in China, but she had a very sort of, like, masculine edge to the way she dressed. Even though she was wearing a dress, even though she had, like, she would do her nails, um, and she had a purse, but there's something, maybe because she was like really tall, very Katherine Hepburn-ish, I would say. Okay. That comes out a little bit in your designs. I think so. I don't know if it's like something I'm uh, aware of, like consciously, like I'm, like I have to make this androgynous, or if it's just something that I'm used to, and it just is my own personal taste and, you know, comes out in the design. So now, can we take a look at your closet? My closet is kind of all over the place, but um, I can definitely show you a few things. Um, I tend to buy things, I know it's going to sound totally cheesy, but like um, only if I love it. Like if I find myself thinking about it like for two days straight, then it's like I know I have to go back. It. So you actually hang your personal wardrobe on a rack that you also use for the collection. Oh, I have to the safe space. So it's Manhattan. People. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a piece I found on eBay. It's an original Pierre Cardin. Oh, that's gorgeous. Um, oh, wow. What is this fabulous thing jingling this over here? This is Kate Moss for Topshop. Oh my God! I think is this piece is really just that's one of the best. Great. Yeah. Did you get this? 
um, when she came here to Barney's in New York? Yeah, I got it in New York. I got it at opening ceremony. Would you love to see Kate Moss in one of your dresses? Yes. She would look amazing. <laughs> I know you have great shoes. Show okay. us some of your shoes. I have Roger Vivier heels, which I actually show wear. Show them, show them. For every occasion, I have to wear nice heels. Oh, they're gorgeous and green. Yeah. Where were these purchased? Um, eBay. eBay! <laughs> okay. Brand new. What are we learning here, folks? <laughs> eBay. And what are these? Metallic. These beauties. are Mulder Zone, which I found on the Lower East Side. There's a really good vintage store called uh, Don the Verb. Okay. So these I found there. These I found as a recommendation from our friend Beverly. Big time eBay girl. But I think these are great. You just don't see detail like this anymore. 